Morning friends, it's been a little while since we did a walkthrough and now that fall is officially here, I thought it would be fun to take you on a walk through the greenhouse and show you all of our great fall stuff. We'll still poke in and take a look at some of our house plants and things like that, but let's look at our crazy selection of pumpkins, mums, and all your great fall decorations on a nice cool morning here at the beginning of what looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend in Ohio. Let's take a walk and see what we have. The first thing to know is today, Friday, and Sunday, Sunny Sips will be here serving up uh, their locally famous drinks. So the Sunny Sips truck is here uh, Friday, that's today and Sunday. Now here's a fun thing. We've become somewhat known for having a crazy selection of heirloom and stacker pumpkins. And we have a really great selection right now. As you can see, they wind all the way down the front of the ranch here and they're already stacked high here they are at the van and this is actually less than half of what we have so we're going to be doing a ton of stocking today but if you're looking to add some odd pumpkins to your fall displays we have no shortage here there are a lot and they are really really nice because these are really thick uh, flesh gourds. They actually last a long time. So it's a nice value for a decoration. And of course your carving pumpkins. We have beautiful carvers. Uh, these are thick stemmed varieties. So again, they're gonna last longer than a typical carving pumpkin. We have the ghost pumpkins, pie pumpkins, and I'll show you more pumpkins in our overstock area. So definitely wanna show you our mums. We have a ton right now. Um, nine inch, six inch, and 10 inch. This is our nine inch size and they're massive. Just cracking color, perfect uh, for a nice long bloom season. Here's a, this white is just fantastic. It is crystal white. And here's Craig, he's already stocking this morning. It's about 7.45 as I'm filming this. So we get a nice early start. Beautiful orange. The mums are looking great. For perennial lovers, we still have a great selection of perennials. Here's your cone flowers in fall colors looking good. Still a great time to plant. And here, one of my all-time favorite fall plants, this is the perennial begonia, begonia grandis. So this plant is actually a perennial begonia. I've talked about it in the videos before because I really do love this plant. But one fun thing it does is here in the axles, it develops these little ball bills. And these act as tiny little bulbs that fall off and perpetuate the plant. So what you have there is tiny bulbs. It's a totally hardy perennial, definitely needs to be in full shade, but a fall bloomer and a begonia at that, pretty cool. And all your little stuff, we have all your little decorations, tiger stripes, gourds, and mini whites. More stuff in overstock too. And if you just don't love the mums or you want something with a little bit more height, we still have a great inventory of Sunbelievable, the reblooming sunflower. This is an annual, but what a nice porch pot display. You'll get uh, just an abundance of blooms until a hard killing freeze. This thing probably would tolerate a couple light frosts too. Cabbage and kale. Just gonna start coloring up here pretty soon with the cooler, cooler nights. You can see we have a great selection of these. And then here's just more of our mum lot. We have these great hanging baskets. And then our six inch, this is a six inch mum. It's huge for a six inch. And really nice and tight, nice plants. The baskets are nice. And here's even a few, if you just wanna hang on to summer a little bit longer, a few nice uh, super cow baskets. And here by far, one of our most popular fall decoration plants, this is the purple flash pepper. This is a true pepper, these are peppers. And this looks great in a combo planter with that purple color. And it's actually a really good deal, seven bucks for a huge plant. So for combo containers, we have a great selection now of combo container plants. And I think one thing we don't talk about enough is the use of perennials in your fall flower pots that you can then transfer to the ground. That's what you call an added value. This is a variegated Japanese iris. It's a beautiful plant. Looks great all the way through fall. And this is a plant you can pop right at. So you use this in the centerpiece of your pot for like your tall grass. Pop this in the ground and you've got a great perennial in your flower bed next year instead of just pitching that plant. 
And the same would go for some of these filler plants like Creeping Jenny and this Ajuga. What a great plant to stick in a mixed container. That's what we've set this up for is make it nice and easy for you to make mixed pots. But again, these are hardy perennials, so you can just pop these right into the ground. And briefly, if you didn't come to the Houseplant Jubilee last weekend, uh, no worries. We always have a great selection of pottery and houseplants. Here we are at the Potter Saloon, and you can see it's stacked with pottery. Of course, the houseplants. I'm not going to go through all the houseplant greenhouses today, but nice and organized, nice and neat. We have a million mini, mini tropical plants. And if you miss the rare release, still an entire wall of rare plants for this coming weekend of all kinds. Really, really nice stuff. So we've really kept up the inventory on these things and we're happy about it. Here's our orchid wall looking pretty cool. That's a new addition. And new this week, some really beautiful mixed succulent containers as well. If you're looking for a quick and easy gift or something to set on a tabletop, succulents can tolerate cool temperatures very well. So they do not mind being outside. And just a quick overview of a few things in here. This is the mercantile and you can see it is looking good. Tons of hanging baskets. Looks like we missed some flowers last night on the Sirius here. This thing has been blooming like crazy. Look at the fruit. This is the Peruvian apple cactus wild fruit there. And very quickly back to the use of perennials. Coral bells are like the perfect fall plant. We brought these up to use in mixed containers. You can see they come in a variety of colors. They have thick leaves. They're gonna hold up. I mean, you do wanna transplant them in the fall, at least into the ground, but this is a plant you could leave in well into mid-November in your planters. And wonderful plants. We have a great selection, and why not use perennials in your pots? It's very logical. Finally, let's take a look here at our overstock pumpkins that are going out today. We have these awesome pink pie-sized pumpkins. Those are pretty cool. Bunch of heirlooms under, under this plastic. We covered them to keep the bins intact during that heavy rain that we had. Gorgeous pie pumpkins, nice healthy stems. Here are the warty. These are nice and big. These are like carver-sized warties. Those are pretty cool. And then my all-time favorite, we have several bins of these going out today, the polar bears. These things are huge, and we'll dig into these here in an hour or so and get them out into retail, but I love those. And just a bunch more awesome fall goodness. And finally, we do have mini straw bales and corn shocks available too, so we really have it all for your front porch decorating. Well, with that, friends, I think I'll sign off a little bit quicker than I normally do. We have a lot of work to do to get ready for a big weekend. Stop by and see us. Enjoy your weekend. It looks like we're in for a couple of weeks of amazing temperatures. So thanks for taking a walk with me. We'll do this again.